Okay, so um, now we're going to have a look at uh, cyclic phosphorylation or photophosphorylation. So here we're just looking at one um, chlorophyll molecule and that chlorophyll molecule is P700. So this is actually photosystem one. And it's a little bit unusual this. Um, the system is predominant in bacteria. So here we're talking about the sort of blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. Um, they, um, you know, very primitive uh, organism. They just have this um, photosystem uh, one taking place, or you know, operating with photosystem one. So what we have here is we have our chlorophyll molecule, just like before, P seven hundred. The photons come in and funneled into that reactive centre, and a pair of electrons. Yes, I was right. A pair of electrons. Um, get incredibly excited and they uh, basically uh, jump out of that chlorophyll pigment and are picked up by uh, an electron carrier, an electron acceptor. And again, within the thylakoid membrane, down they come a set of steps. And um, what actually happens here, and thus the reason um, for the name cyclic, is those that pair of electrons ends up back at the chlorophyll molecule. What it's producing is ATP and ATP only. So with cyclic photophosphorylation, you're getting ATP. You're not producing NADP and there's no splitting of water. Um, so that's what's happening in cyclic photophosphorylation.